So today we will look at a few ways we can add velocity and accents to our voices, adding some movement in the sound. And most of the ideas here will work also perfectly in hardware. We will start with the first voice. I have here a 16 step sequence, um, the one from AS, sequencing an FM voice with two kitchen sync modules. It will sound like this. Now I want to add velocity changes to this voice, so the tool we will use the most today is a VCA and I will use the one from VCV, which will look like this. We will send the voice first through the VCA and in this case I can use another row of the sequencer to control the VCA. So I have the second row ready for us which with some changes, this will control the VCA. So already we have some movement in the sound. Again, without. And with. Now something I like doing is sending the same modulation also to change the brightness of the voice. So the louder the voice, the brighter it is also and vice versa. So in this case, we will use the FM depth. So we send the same signal, the same row. Again, without, and with. Very nice. Okay, here down I have a kick being sequenced by the gate sequencer. By the way, I'm using the teleport modules from Little Utils just to keep the uh, patch a bit more tidy for the video. So you see I have here the clock. I'm teleporting the clock with this uh, teleport module to this teleport output module. So I don't have cables going everywhere in the patch. So anyway, I have here a kick being sequenced by the gate sequencer and this is already going to a VCA. Um, so here it is. Very nice. Now I want to have one hit. I want to have this hit here a bit softer. So we have 16 steps all in all for the kick. And we have a 16 step sequencer here. We have another row that we can use. So let's use this row to control the velocity of the kick. Again, I have here already a VCA for us. So this will go to the VCA. And now we will have the main four, the main four hits we will have all the way up, which is one, five, nine, and 13. And then this hit here, the one exactly before the 13, so number 12, I want to have it a bit, a bit softer. Yes. Just like this. Very nice. Okay, so here I have a Hyatt. Let's unmute the Hyatt. Again, being sequenced, you can see I have 16 steps active on the gate sequencer. And another way to add velocity is with a delay. So let's use Chronoblob, which will look like this. And what we will do is we will use less hits on the sequencer and use the delay to fill the gaps with the wet signal a bit, uh, a bit softer than the dry signal. So we get this motion in the sound. So let's remove some hits. I will use the same ones like the kick more or less, just without this hit here. So we have four hits instead of 16. Let's sync already the delay with our clock. Maybe change the time modulation mode so when I change the time, it will not glitch, not so important. Let's use a mono delay because I don't want a stereo signal. I want to keep it mono. We will use the, uh, take the wet all the way down for now. And now let's send the Hyatt through the delay. So we have the same signal and now we will raise the wet a bit and change the delay times. I, st I want still to keep this 16th note feel, so I will divide it maybe by four. Oh yes. And you can see the wet signal is a bit softer than the dry signal. Somewhere here, so we get this movement. We still have a 16th note feel, but the notes in between are a bit softer 
thanks to the delay. So this is another uh, fun way to add velocity. I have here another hat, different uh, sound of a uh, hat. Sounds like this. Now to this, again it's going through a VCA. To this we can add randomness to the velocity. And again, by the way, I'm using again the teleport modules. This is teleporting the audio to the mixer. So anyway, I will use the sample and hold from Bog Audio. So in this case, we will not have a steady change in velocity, but it will be random. Um, let's first of all make sure to have the correct range on the sample and hold. In this case, in the case of the VCA, this CV input is expecting a voltage from the range of 0 to positive 10 volts. So let's do this also. This is already set for the in the sample and hold for us. We will trigger this with the same triggers and modulate the VCA. So now we have random changes of velocity. Very nice. Another way I like adding ve uh, velocity changes is with another sequencer that has a different length. So here I have a bass sound. I'm using the ADDR sequencer to sequencing the pitch of Ona from nano modules. I'm mixing a few waveforms and white noise. This is going to a filter tangents and from there to slap, which is a VCA with a built-in envelope. And I'm sending it already to another VCA that we will use in a second for velocity. But let's have a listen to this first. Okay, now in this case we will use another ADDR sequencer. Um, let's set it again to the correct range, 0 to positive 10 volts. This is the range the VCA will work best with. In this case we will have only 5 steps for example. So the pitch sequencer has 8 steps, but the velocity sequencer will have only 5 steps. So let's send this to the VCA. I will run this with the same clock. And now we can start changing the values. Let's do something like this. So we get variation in the sequence. Now we got, might get some clicks from the rapid change in levels. So we can use a slew limiter for this just to smoothen, to smoothen out this um, signal from the sequencer. So let's take the rise almost all the way down, the fall almost all the way down. So I'm just smoothing the edges a bit and this will go to the VCA. And again, also here I can use the same signal to change the timbre of the voice through the cutoff point. So let's use the one directly from the sequencer just a bit. So the louder the voice is, also the brighter it is. It adds even more motion. Okay, very nice. So this was velocity. Let's have a look at adding accents. Okay, so I like to think of accents as something that brings the voice or sound forward rather than just another level control. So I'm going to show you a few ways to add interesting accents, but if you want to have accents on the level, it's basically the same like we did with velocity. So here I have our first voice, um, plats in two operator FM. It's being sequenced by the grid sequencer. It sounds like this. And I want to add accents on two of the steps. So we have eight active steps all in all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Um, so we can use an eight step sequencer for this. So let's use again the ADDR. By the way, I forgot to mention every eight phase changing or switching between four different presets for the grid sequencer. So we have four different um, sequences basically. Okay, so every an eight step sequence, we will drive it with the same triggers from the sequencer, just like this. So we have eight steps, one step for each active step on the grid sequencer. Let's also reset everything. Again, I'm using the teleport modules here, you can see. 
Okay, so now we will send this to the timbre input, this sequencer to the timbre input of plets, which is in this case the FM amount, and this we will use to add accents. Let's open the attenuverter and raise uh, two of the steps for accents. So let's say, for example, step three and step seven. So we have again eight steps, but two of them are with a sort of an accent. So they are a bit forward in the mix, a bit uh, more noticeable, which I find much better than to add accents with velocity, but this is also possible. Okay, I have here another voice, I have ions. I'm sequencing the pitch of the percussive vibration module. I'm using algorithm to sequence its um, rhythm. And this will sound like this. Oh yeah. Now this module, the percussive vibration has a built-in accent trigger input. This accent trigger input will trigger an envelope that we have here, and we can use it for all sorts of things. So let's trigger it with two triggers from algorithm. We have individual trigger outputs that we can combine using a logic module. So for example, let's combine three and seven. And here from the O, XO doesn't matter, we get a trigger whenever one or the other is active because they are not happening at the same time. It doesn't matter if we use O or XO. So let's use this. Let's, for example, take the XO to trigger the accent envelope. And now we can use this envelope, for example, to modulate again the timbre, again through the FM. So here is the envelope output. This will go to the FM CV input. We can change the decay time of this envelope. Change the ratio maybe. Something like this again. So we have two. or two um, hits or steps with velocity. We can uh, even control or change the velocity of Vakumba. So the percussive vibration is going through Vakumba for extra crunch. And we can use this envelope to change the gain for those two steps. Oh yeah. So again, instead of just changing the volume or the velocity of this voice for accents, we are also changing, or mostly changing, the timbre, which brings the voice forward. Okay, I have here some drums, I have here a kick and a snare being sequenced by the gate sequencer. Again, also here you can see I'm using the teleport modules to teleport my clock. Um, so here I have the gate sequencer sequencing the kick and the snare, and I have the snare, like we've seen before, with velocity. So I have the ADDR controlling the velocity of the snare through the VCA to sound like this. Oh yeah. Very nice. Okay, so here I have a Hyatt. I have a white noise going to tangents, bend pass in this case going to the drum envelope spank from Vult, it will sound like this. Let's solo this for a second. So those are the hits, maybe we can add some decay. Just a bit, maybe something like this. Now I want here also to add accents to the Hyatt. So we can do two things, we can open the decay a bit. And we can also raise the drive. Something like this. Now, unlike the percussive vibration, we don't have a dedicated accent trigger, but we can add one. So first of all, let's use another algorithm. 
And let me just bring in all the other voices. Oh, just like this. Okay, so we will use another algorithm. Let's set it to have eight steps in this case. So sequence length, eight steps, and let's go back to grid programming. Now we will use the same clock and reset also everything. Very nice. Okay, now we can use a short envelope just like we had on the percussive vibration. We can use a short envelope to modulate those parameters, the decay and drive and create accents. So let's add a short envelope which will come from the AD envelope. AD envelope from Nischi, which will look like this. We will use the pattern from algorithm, maybe get rid of one trigger so it's not too often. Now let's send this to the decay and the drive CV inputs and let's start raising the attenuators a bit. solo this you can hear that we have still the 16 steps but we have three accents which is quite cool okay I have here also a sort of an up I have the note sequencer generating chords which is going to the super arpeggiator, which arpeggiates those chords, which is sequencing kitchen sync. And I wanted a sort of a one-shot ARP. Um, so I have here the burst module, sequencing or uh, running or driving the super arpeggiator. And by the way, this super arpeggiator has also an accent output that I'm using. So let me just unmute this and show you. This was it. So first of all, I'm sending this voice through a VCA and I have a sort of velocity so this voice will uh, fade in. But I also have the accent output again triggering in a short envelope which is the perfect tool for adding accents. And I have one, two, three, four accents programmed here on the super arpeggiator and this is and this is um, changing the FM depth. So again, I'm not using accents as another level control, but more for changing timbre and to bring the voice forward, which I find better than, than just using as another uh, volume or level control. Okay, and that was it. Those were a few ways you can add velocity and accents to your patches. Like always, there will be a link in the description to the patches. Feel free to download them and take a closer look. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. If you enjoy what I do, consider becoming a Patreon. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe and hit the bell. And have a good one.